Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Legacy of Cain Defiance. In the last episode, Raziel got the spectral, or the, uh, spiritual reaver, the spirit reaver, which is the best reaver in the game. And his soul has been purified, and, uh, yeah. He needs to find some way to find Cain. Janos, what is this? The binding is failing. All is lost. We had arrived at that cataclysmic moment when a younger Cain faced his fateful dilemma as Balan's guardian. Choosing self-preservation over sacrifice, he doomed the pillars to eternal ruin. Raziel, there may yet be hope. There is one who will be called. You must seek the Scion of Balance. Dear God! Ah, Raziel, we meet again. You have played your part flawlessly. It is gratifying to attain both freedom and vengeance in a single stroke. No! You cannot! This one is strong. Good. My next move requires a more durable host. Mortals are such fragile vessels. Willing or not, you have provided the instrument of our victory. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. You pathetic creature. You haven't got a clue. The seduction of the Circle and possession of Mortanius, Ariel's murder, the corruption and collapse of the Pillars, all orchestrated as a prelude to this moment. We sought an incorruptible vessel, and you provided one. We required the blood of our ancient enemy, and you delivered Janos Audrin, having first been lured to the heart of darkness. Best of all, you murdered the Scion of Balance to get it. We've already won. Raziel, you must not allow them to carry out their plan. Kill me, and you end it now. Suicidal like the rest of them. Know your place, Raziel. The true hero plays his role and then steps aside. <laughs> you deluded ghoul. Do you so wish to die a martyr for the vampire's lost cause? You're not leaving this chamber. I will destroy Janos if I have to. Very well then. I'll indulge you. Alright, so now we have to fight a possessed Janos Audrin with the Spirit Reaver, and basically, as the Hilden Lord mentioned, he basically, uh, he basically, um, what is it? Uh, what the hell is it? He basically possessed Mortanius, had him kill Ariel so that the, uh, the, uh, that the, um, the hell is it? So that the Balance Guardian, or Nup Raptor, went crazy and uh, basically tainted the circle. Now he's trying to, uh, and now he he uh, he is released because of the the uh, the, the um. Why can't I speak? Because of the uh, the you know Cain not sacrificing his life. It's the pillars. You know, wouldn't have really fixed the pillars because humans would have still had control over them and, uh, you know, still weaken the thing. So anyways, we're fighting Janos Ordran. He's got a couple of attacks, basically one where he kind of swoops in on you. And what you have to do is dodge that attack, basically. You can't hit him just head on. So you gotta kind of dodge that attack and then he has one where he shoots a tornado at you. And if you can dodge both of those, then you can actually, um, you can actually hit him a few times. After you hit him a few times, he will uh, hit you back a bit, and then he 
begin the process anew. So yeah, I'm doing pretty bad at this guy. So yeah, and this is actually why uh, Kane said that Janos needs to stay dead was because then the Hilden would be able to possess him and then all that stuff would happen from Blood Omen 2. And apparently I cannot dodge for crap. But since since Raziel brought back Janos, they basically he basically ensured that they had a a, uh, a uh, immortal life source that they could use to do what they will with. Yeah. So basically, I advise to just uh, hit L1 and not be in combat mode so you can dodge better. All you gotta do is dodge his tornado, hit him a few times. There we go. Now we're doing a lot better. All right. Now when he gets about when he gets about a quarter left of his of his energy, actually the the battle changes a little bit because he gets a new ability. Oh, look at this, he summoned some Hilden, some undead Hilden, which is good for me, because I can get some energy back. But he does this new ability right here, where he does a shock wave. And there's really nothing you can do to dodge it, it's, or anything. I, 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 I get hit by it every single time. But then he will go back to his, uh... His old ways of trying to dive on you and shooting a tornado at you. So yeah, now you know Raziel's got to defeat his mentor, the guy that uh, the guy that uh, you know tried to give him the reaver and was uh, such a nice fellow to him. You know, made him feel made him feel pretty good about being this about you know, being a, uh, a weirdo, like what he looks like. Although Raziel's very cool, he's an excellent character. Oh, wow. Can I beat this guy? It's gonna be close. Oh yeah, we beat him. Raziel? Finish it before he returns. <gasps> oh, oh. You should have listened to me. has its beginning. And now Raziel is gone, and Cain is nowhere to be found. What are we going to do? Now the Hilden, the Hilden have Janos' body, and they can use it. Do you see? However far you stray, you will always return to me. Surrender, Raziel. Never! <laughs> Your efforts are wasted, Raziel. That weapon you bear, however endowed, remains only a wraith blade. It cannot touch me. I will not be your prisoner. You have no choice. Your task is fulfilled. Cain has been cleared from the board, and this chamber made ready for my more malleable servants. There is nothing more for you to do. I refuse to bend my will. It has always been my will you satisfy, never your own. You parasitic fraud. You are forced to imprison me because I possess free will. You possess nothing. As you are undying, your soul cannot be returned to the wheel. But it may console you to abide here in eternity with me. Mobius, my good servant, 
I call you to the place of our first meeting. Return to me here. Now they can use Janos' body however they want, I guess. Oh, and look at this, we're gonna be Kane. I awoke to find myself in a shadowy realm. A disquieting stillness lay where my heart had been, the heart that had belonged to Janus Audrin all along. How is it possible that I still lived? You are still very full of that body. That will go first. This realm will render you hideous. You will go mad. I will not know it. What is this place? Do you not think of this place every day, vampire? Or are we truly forgotten? forgotten? This is the exile into which we were driven. But soon now, soon we will be free. We will be free! Yes, and we are Cain, and somehow he is still alive, and he is actually in the demon realm, or the realm that the Hilden were banished into. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, you know, Raziel's pretty ticked at the Elder God, he hates him, he's trying to kill him, and, uh, yeah. That's it, really. You know, so, in a way, he is the Hilden champ. He wants him dead. Yeah, but this part is really hard. We're using Kane. And you're so used to that spirit reaver at that point that, you know, hitting these guys can be very difficult. Luckily, they do give you two blood uh, fountains down the, on the far left end if you need them. I'm going to try to beat at least two of them before I have to use it. Anyways, as you can see, Kane is still alive and he has a hole in his heart. Or a hole in his chest where his heart used to be. Oh, we got, oh, let's use the Time Reaver here, and I'll show you what that does. Basically slows down, slows down time and lets you, lets you be able to hit, hit the guys. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what the hell was it? The, um, the thing in Blood Omen 1. Oh, God. What the hell was that? Oh, man, there's a big red dude. I forget what that thing in Blood Omen 1 was where you could you could hit uh you could use it and then just kill everyone. And apparently you can't drink any God man. Apparently you can't drink demon blood. Although I think you were able to do that in Blood Omen 1. Now that I think about it. Can this guy stop throwing fireballs while I'm trying to drink? God I don't bother him. Anyway, so uh Kane is still alive. The only thing that I can say, reason being, is maybe because he's, one, he's a scion of balance. I mean, and two, maybe because, I don't know, he had the Heart of Darkness in him for quite a while at this point. And maybe since the Heart of Darkness is still around, it has the same effect, like with Yanos, you know what I mean? Granted, granted, uh, maybe the reason why he's moving around is because he's sign of balance and the reason why you can do that is because he had the heart of darkness because you know what if you think about it he had the heart of darkness in probably just as long as friggin Yanos did who knows how long he lived anyways let's try to beat this guy this this guy is tough as Kane because again you're pretty used to uh, that spirit reaver at this point and how easily it destroyed those guys yeah, there we go. We beat him. That can be very difficult. And I don't know if there's any more blood anywhere, but let's just double check. But yeah, Cain, uh... Cain was banished to the demon realm here. By Raziel. Who apparently didn't kill him, which is good. And now we're going through this little time warp. 
or whatever you want to call it. I felt strongly drawn, compelled even, not to linger here, but to go to the Vampire City at once. Yep, and the reason for that is because he's the, you know, he's a balanced guardian. He's the scion of balance. He is, he, you know, because Ariel said that they felt that, that all the, basically the, the Sporge summoned all of this, all of the guardians there, the, the spirit guardians, the balanced guardians there. So that's why, that's why Cain feels compelled to go there, so... At least now we're back in the human realm, and we know where we are. We we're in that pit where Terrell, where we fought Terrell. And now let's just look around, see if there's anything. We get ourselves a talisman. And as you can see, you can see Kane has like a new—I don't know—I guess it would be called a texture or something, where he. Uh, he has a hole in his heart, which is pretty neat. Ah, oh, no. Oh, come on. And Kane climbs up so fast. So anyways, we are coming to the finale. That's right, the next episode is going to be the finale. The last episode of this series in this game. And uh, we will find out the exciting conclusion of Let's Play Legacy of Kane Defiance in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913. I will see you later. Bye-bye.